Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I will discuss what are the actions that a person needs to take in case there is a death on board a ship. And I will also discuss the various logbook entries and some key points to remember in such a scenario. So let's get started. Death on board is a very complicated issue. It becomes complicated because there are too many parties involved. There is family of the deceased. There are the people who are working with him. There are people who had employed him and there are people who are responsible to pay compensation for them, like the insurance company. Thus, it becomes very crucial that all the facts related to the death of that person are effectively recorded. So here are the key points that you must remember. The key point to remember is that you are not a doctor. So if you encounter a person who looks dead to you, make sure that you do not declare him dead before it has been declared by radio medical advice or if you are in port by a professional doctor. The master would follow the master's medical guide and check the airway, breathing and circulation of the person. Put light on his eyes and check if his pupils are dilating or not. After checking all this and giving due consideration to the medical guide and advice from radio medical advice, the master must continue to take actions as advised by the radio medical advice to make sure that every action has been taken to revive that person and once it has been realized that nothing more can be done it would be radio medical advice which will declare the person dead master needs to just record everything that he had done based on the advice of radio medical advice and log it in the official log now that the person has been declared dead it is time to start reporting Report has to be made to the ship owner, charter, flag state. PNI needs to be informed. Make sure that you make a record of all the events in the official record. Date and time of death, reason of death, time when radio medical advice declared him dead, person who noticed him first, brought attention to others, next of kin, nationality, wages which are due to the person at the time of death, and a complete list of person's inventory, his personal belongings must be made and put in the official logbook. Master, mate and one more witness must sign this entry. An Indian ship must contact the DGCOM center and report the shipping casualty. Contact with the charter may be made to check the possibility of diverting the vessel to hand over the deceased body and his essentials. If vessel is in foreign port, then Indian consular officer to be informed and all items of the deceased to be handed over and get the official logbook endorsed. Contact the local agent, PNI club for repatriation of the deceased body. And finally comes the part of casualty investigation code. As master, keep all statement of facts in order along with the statement of all crew members. Include MS Act 358, 359, 360, 361 and 362 in your answer. And these sections are basically from MS Act Part 12 which is Investigations and Inquiries. So shipping casualties and report thereof, report of shipping casualty to central government, application to court for formal investigation etc can be found in this part. Also, as per SOLAS Chapter 1, Regulation 21, Flag State needs to carry out investigation if casualty occurred on high seas. And in case a casualty occurs in territorial waters, then coastal state may lead the investigation. Finally, I cannot overstate this fact that after a death on board, making proper records and making the right entries in the official logbook is highly crucial. Thus, here is one ideal entry that can be used. This is to put on record that on date, time and position, rank of the person and the name of the person was found motionless at location on ship. Then checks were carried out as per master medical guide, symptoms reported to radio medical advice and radio medical advice declared the seafarer dead. Following are the inventories of personal belongings, wages due till that particular date is 
this much Indian rupees or US dollars then put date time signature along with another senior officer and one witness from the crew I hope this was a useful video for you if you have any feedback suggestion or comment then please do write down below all the best for your exams and as always thank you for watching